Hey everyone, how you doing today? Cody Bugen over at Vestrite. I'm gonna go a little more detail into how you can become a land acquisition specialist, how you can put together land deals in the development space with limited cash outlay, without you or friends and family having to put very much cash, very little cash into these deals. So how can you bring value to the land development space with very little cash? And it's a phenomenal question. We obviously, we get into it in our course and we get into all our different strategies and this, that, and the other. But for this post, I wanna give a little brief overview of, of how this works. So first, the thing we need to understand is when we're putting together land deals in the development space, in order to structure those contracts correctly, putting that contract together with the property owner is we can't pay development values for land until the land's actually approved for the development. Therefore, we usually, from the time we ink a contract, first phase we go through is what's called a 90 day due diligence process. And in that 90 days, we, we basically check a bunch of boxes, okay? To make sure that we, we believe we can do what we wanna do with the piece. After that, we put together what's called the land use application. And, and then we submit that to the city and then that goes through an approval process. And then that's approved. And a lot of times when, when that's approved, that's called uh, land use approval. You know, with subdivisions, you might hear it called a preliminary plat approval or paper lots, there's all different phrases. And then from there, we move on to construction drawing approval and then actual development of the subdivision, construction of the subdivision, and then build on the home, so on and so forth. There's numerous phases, but you know, from the time we complete that due diligence to the time that we get preliminary plat approval or land use approval, that can take anywhere from, I mean, that could take anywhere from four months to a year and a half. It just, there's so many different um, obstacles and challenges, or it might go extremely smooth, but that's all over the board. But we don't close until those approvals are in place because that land is worth nothing more than it's as is value as farmland or whatever it may be until those approvals are in place. Okay, so with that outline, I'm gonna get a little more into why you can bring so much value to a developer like myself or whoever without much cash. All right, and there's a few different thoughts here, but let's, I'll do my best to try to explain it in this brief post. First of all, what we teach, what we train, what we do is off market deals. So we don't go and buy land that's for sale on the open market listed with a real estate agent. You know, you can find it in the MLS or on Zillow or whatever it may be, LoopNet. Properties that we usually purchase are not to be found on the open market. Okay, we contact property owners direct through numerous strategies. Okay, so you as a land acquisition specialist, which is what we're teaching in our courses, is how to become an expert at land acquisition, specifically off market. Understand the first value you bring is the fact that you're putting together deals that don't otherwise exist. So developers like myself or whoever, we find value in the fact that you're bringing something to the table that otherwise we wouldn't have an opportunity to purchase or even know, to know about, okay? So that's your first value. Understand though, at that point, you might have no cash in the deal. So you've already brought value with no cash, okay? Once you have that under contract, you can assign that to a developer and get a real small fee if you want the money right there and then, just quick cash, or if you're willing to wait till farther in the process, we can pay you more and more money for putting that deal together. So we could pay you a certain amount of money maybe after we complete that due diligence process we talked about. Or maybe we pay you so much after you know, we get preliminary plat approval slash land use approval. Or maybe we pay you even more once the subdivision construction drawings are approved, that approval. 
or maybe we pay you even more once we have finished lots that we're gonna sell or if the most <laughs> you could get even more is if you're getting paid when the finished lot sell. The point is, the farther along in the process, the more you make by just being a land acquisition specialist, by putting the deal together. And don't get me wrong, that is tremendous value. That is the probably the biggest value you bring is putting that deal together. Obviously, you bring no value at all if you don't know how to put those deals together, meaning you don't know how to price them, you don't know how to structure the terms, you don't know the, the quick back of the napkin kind of underwriting due diligence process you should do before you ever even ink the contract. There's some basic boxes you should check before even wasting anybody's time putting a deal together on paper, which, <laughs> okay, let's call this a pitch. We teach all that at Vestrite through one of our mini courses. Okay, so, but if you flip that contract to us, you might have no cash in the deal. Or you might decide to take it through the due diligence process and then assign it to us at that point. And you might, I don't know, you might have five grand in your due diligence or 20,000 in your due diligence. It just depends on the deal, the jurisdiction, how big it is, how small it is. And you might, and you'll probably, if you wanna get paid right there and then, right after due diligence, you wanna sign it to us right then, you're obviously gonna get more than if you wanted to get paid right at the time you executed the contract. Next step is you take it through the land use process. You go get that preliminary plat approval. Now we're we're gonna um, you're probably your payday's even bigger because you took it all the way through the approvals, and and you might decide okay I'm gonna I'm gonna exit at this point and get paid at this point. And a lot of times at that stage where the preliminary plat approvals in place, the land use approvals in place, a lot of times that's where you'll hear hear us drop double closing or simultaneous closing. Because what, what will you do in that situation is if you're gonna exit at that stage, your buyer is gonna close with you the same time you close with the seller, the property owner, and you make your profits or your payday, your return out of the middle, all right? And you take it through that process, you might have anywhere from, I don't know, I'm just gonna throw it out there, 50 grand to 500 grand into the deal. Huge variance, our average deal, we spend, oh, give or take three grand a lot to get it through that process. So, okay, I'm gonna take it a step further. You, you wanna do a simultaneous close, you want, or a double closing, and you wanna stay in the middle. And there's a, there's a control element to that where you, that's sometimes most beneficial to a land acquisition specialist is to take it through simultaneous, through closing and do a simultaneous closing. But the problem is you don't have the cash to get it through that process. Well, the first option is go bring on an investor, right? Maybe friends and family or whoever. Sometimes what also can be accomplished is you have your buyer who you're gonna sell the deal to with, through the simultaneous closing, you have them actually put up the cash to take it through the approval process. And so in that situation, here again, you might have little to no cash in the deal because your buyer's putting it all up. Where that gets sometimes tricky is with earnest money because you might still need to put up the earnest money with the, with the seller even though your buyer's gonna put up earnest money with you, uh, your buyer's gotta be comfortable with that earnest money being transferred over to the other file. So anyways, I, I'm rambling. I could go all over the board on this. It's all taught in the course, eight week course, tons, endless content. But just the point of this post is, is there's numerous strategies or ways to be a part of these deals, being, bring tremendous value, and those five to seven figure paydays are no joke, that's real, and you can do it with very little cash. The beauty of real estate is it's so creative. The beauty of being a land acquisition specialist, and let me restate that, an educated land acquisition specialist, is where you bring the majority of your value is by finding the deal and putting it together and structuring it correctly. So 
Anyways, quick note on how to be, bring value to the land development space with very little cash. With that said, take care. I appreciate it. And hopefully you found this content somewhat valuable, hopefully really valuable. All right, take care. See ya.